Auntie Jane has sent me a ticket for the zoo for my birthday. Have you ever been to the zoo, Greeny? <laughs> said the little green man, which meant no. What's a zoo? Well, it's a place where they keep all kinds of animals. Well, lots of them are very wild. Lions and tigers and elephants and bears. And others are funny, like monkeys and hyenas. How'd you like to come and see them with me? <laughs> said the little green man which meant, great, let's go at once. The little green man wasn't really very sure about all this, but he appeared keen because he didn't want to be left out. And he was very curious about all these animals. Come on, Zoom Zoom, come and see the earth monsters, but be careful. The little green man and Zoom Zoom were most impressed with the animals. They'd seen nothing like them before. They love the long-necked giraffes and the many different bears. They stood for a long time watching the hippopotamus take a mud bath. And the little green man found it hard to believe that huge Ermintrude, the tame elephant, spent all its time taking people for rides around the zoo. There were so many things to see, and hot dogs and pop besides. It was unbelievable. Skeet's favourites were the lions and the monkeys, which were in adjoining cages. And the little green man and Zoom Zoom listened with interest to Skeet's tales of the dangerous lions and the mischievous monkeys. Zoom Zoom asked if he could go and see the snakes, and they made off to the snake house. These were great fun, they found and they spent quite a long time looking at the different kinds of snakes the zoo had. When Zoom Zoom discovered an empty compartment, his eyes twinkled. He flew down to whisper in the little green man's ear, and they both smiled. <coughs> said the little green man to Skeets. What's this? Zoom Zoom is going to turn himself into a snake and put himself on show in the empty compartment. But no one will be able to see him, said Skeets. Oh, yes, they will, because he's materialising so that anyone can see him. By now, Zoom Zoom was inside the compartment, and he first flew over to the notice board. He began to write, and when he was finished, it said, Fuzzy-headed Zoom Zoom snake. He then sprouted a long tail and began to wriggle about on the floor. Zoom Zoom had made one small mistake, however. When he looked at this empty compartment, it wasn't really empty. Slippery Sam, the sleepy snake, had been having a quiet snooze out of sight in his little house. And out he wriggled to find out what everyone was giggling at. When he saw Zoom Zoom, he thought, how nice to have a friend to play with. And he made his way over to where Zoom Zoom was entertaining Skeets, the invisible little green man, and several visitors who'd stopped to watch. Zoom Zoom stopped in his tracks when Slippery slithered up to him and said, How do you do? He wriggled away around the compartment, and Slippery Sam, thinking this was some kind of a game, gave chase. When he'd given up any hope of dodging away from Slippery, Zoom Zoom got rid of his snake-like tail, closed his eyes, put something like a finger in his mouth, and blew and completely disappeared. The visitors thought it was all part of the entertainment and clapped, but Slippery rubbed his eyes and just couldn't believe it. 
As Skeets, Zoom Zoom, and the little green man left the snake house, he was putting his tail in his mouth, closing his eyes, and blowing for all he was worth. As they walked into the sunshine, a great cry went up, and crowds of people ran past, almost knocking them down. A lion and a monkey have escaped, they cried. Run for your life! Come on, yelled Skeets, and the friends took refuge behind the hot dog seller's counter. The hot dog seller had run off with the crowd. The little green man felt much braver than the others. For a short while. And it was much later that he ventured to sit on top again. The lion came into view, lashing its tail and looking very cross indeed. The little green man made some quite extraordinary noises, which Skeets knew was his secret way of laughing. Zoom Zoom too looked as though his sides would split. And while Skeets was puzzling over their strange behaviour, it all happened. The little green man took a flying leap from the counter to land on the lion's back. He cried, which meant, come on Zoom Zoom, get a hold of his tail, which was exactly what Zoom Zoom did. And as he wafted to and fro, holding onto the lion's angry tail, the little green man held onto the big shaggy mane and rode the lion like a cowboy rides in a rodeo. You be careful, Greeny. You could get hurt doing that, shouted Skeets. But it was no use, for the little green man couldn't hear a word because of the snarling of the lion. The people watching found this very strange. But then they couldn't see the little green man clinging to the lion, or Zoom Zoom for that matter and it appeared that the lion was leaping about because of Skeets shouting at him. The little green man and Zoom Zoom were nearly thrown off several times, but they both held their places magnificently until suddenly the lion stopped still and became very quiet. The lion turned his head to the little green man and the little green man whispered in his ear. Then he silently padded away down the walkway until he reached his cage, went inside and lay down. The keeper quickly closed the cage door and bolted it. To the people watching, in utter amazement, it looked as though Skeets' shouting had done the trick and that the lion had obeyed Skeets in padding back to his cage. They all began to applaud and Skeets became very embarrassed. He turned very red and slipped away as quickly as he could and was soon joined by the little green man and Zoom Zoom. Walking round the next corner, the runaway monkey swung out at the little green man and knocked him to the ground. Of course, the monkey couldn't see the little green man, nor could the keepers or the people, but the funny little creature could feel the soft, snuggly tummy beneath him. As the keepers crept up, the monkey sprang as quick as a flash up a high tree, much to the amusement of the people watching. The little green man got to his feet and ran as fast as he could in the opposite direction, followed by Zoom Zoom. Skeets had started to climb the tree, but hadn't got very far when the monkey dropped to the ground and made for the hot dog van. By the time Skeets reached the van, the monkey had the hot dog seller's hat on and was throwing well-aimed hot dogs at the people watching. He sprayed mustard and ketchup in all directions before hopping into the driver's seat and pretending to drive. Skeets opened the door and the mischievous monkey quickly jumped down and walked calmly off with Skeets to his cage. He said a lot of nice things in monkey language, which meant, thank you for taking me home. After another round of applause from the people watching, Skeets made his way to where the little green man and Zoom Zoom were still hiding. Said the little green man, which meant, there was I playing with the monkey before I whispered to him to go back to his cage, but I was really too afraid to help you tackle the ferocious lion. And you led him by the hand back to his cage all by yourself. Oh, I think you're very brave. I think you've got things a little bit mixed up, said Skeets with a grin. I led the funny little monkey back to his cage. You were the hero who tamed the lion and sent it back to its cage. 
You mean I got the names muddled up? Skeets went off into fits of giggles and laughter. The little green man turned. He said. Well, really. <laughs>